What is going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new koi pond here on the channel. And look at this absolutely great koi pond. In fact, I really like this. Um, we are in uh, Switzerland and we are still busy with our European pond tour. This is one of those gardens that I would really like to have at my, my own place. Before we do the walk around with the builder of the koi pond, I just want to tell you a little bit more about this pond. It's got different levels here inside the pond and it's really close based to the, to the entrance and the terrace of the house. So when you're sitting in the summertime or winter time in your living room, you can straight straightly watch in your own koi pond. Something that's really amazing is this water feature here on the top of this koi pond. We have a really nice water flow, waterfall that ends up in the koi pond. We got some really nice trees, but don't forget the stones that they use. They're a little bit different than we saw in the other ponds. They are a bit darker, but it really matches good with the white colors of the, uh, of the house. So um, uh, we also have some uh, koi in here. I saw some uh, really nice showa and of course uh, some really nice kujakus and I will show you the rest uh, really soon. I'm going to get my camera, I will uh, introduce you guys again to the builder of the koi pond, Sasha. Uh, we do a small walk around before we start. If you're not subscribed guys to our channel, please subscribe because we are only going to do more and more videos in the future. So this is the view you get when you're arriving in the backyard of this crazy garden and uh, of course there is uh, our big friend from Switzerland again, Sasha. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Sasha. Welcome to the other point that we have to do a building. Yeah, this one is great. Wow. So how big is it? It's uh, 50,000 liters. It looks much bigger. This looks much bigger, yes. Also the stones in the water. Uh, it has five bottoms. Yes. Uh, skimmer. Another bottom from the waterfall. Uh, system is a separately system. Uh, can make cut of a. Uh, yeah, you can uh, cut it off from the system. Exactly. Wow, that's uh, great. Also, two filter systems. Also, profit clear. Here. And we will show them uh, later, or yeah. can we go in there? We can look. Oh, we there. can look later. All right. Okay. So we got uh, how much bottom drains before we start? We got one, two, three, five. five. Rounds yes. And, uh, one. Uh, at the high level yes, so the one in the higher level yeah. for the waterfall on that yeah. side, and then we got maybe one or two skimmers. Uh, one skimmer in the in the uh, under the wood. So you hide side. it. Yeah, off the side. Under there. Yeah. So that's a pretty good solution. Yeah, yeah, and uh, also uh, automatic uh, water fill systems, uh, air in the in the water uh, from the summertime. Exactly. And, uh, it's, it's really clear water here. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. You can see the koi in the bottom and it's around 1 meter 80 deep. Yeah. Yes. So guys, look at this, how clear the water is. And all, of course, because of the build of the pond, but also because of the filtration system that is inside here. And we will open that up uh, very quick. So, Sasha, um, these stones are a little bit different than you used in yeah. the other koi yeah. ponds. Yeah. Those are a little bit darker. Can you explain? Explain me why you choose this type of stone. Yeah, uh, it was uh, an idea from the customer. Uh, it's, it's very uh, uh, from Japan style, and uh, she liked it very much. Then uh, she did me. Uh, I, I which this stone. Uh, it's really expensive to to organize. Exactly. We have uh, a long uh, road to to take in the mountain, and there we uh, look around from the stones. It was really all stones was uh, same uh, style uh, in the waterfalls, and uh, then in a, in a, in a different place of this uh, stone uh, builder. Yeah. Builder. We have found very old stones uh -huh. under uh, under grass under under uh, the, the trees. Wow! And then we say that's hey, it. That they it. want to have this yes. one. And then we have uh, look for a good price. Take it all <laughs> here, and then uh, we build. Uh, yeah, in, because in it's water. it's it's a lot. So uh, you went out into the Swiss Alps, I guess, yeah. to to select those stones together with your customer and uh, those stones had to be look like a Japanese garden, yes. like they use a Japanese yeah. garden. Yeah. And, and that's what I already mentioned in the first minute of the video. This, uh, I immediately saw they're a little bit different than we saw in the pond last week. 
uh, though they were more white, but those stones that you are used in this pond are a little bit more dark. And I also really like it because it's good with the white house. I will show you guys. Yeah, so the contrast is really nice with the black stones and the white house, as you can see. And what I also really like is the modern part of this house, include, including with the very traditional, but very nice Japanese style garden. So, um, uh, beside the stones, uh, you choose uh, some amazing uh, plants again. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I see some moss growing over there that looks really nice. We've got some white gravel over here. And at the moment I'm standing straight on the uh, filtration system. We will open this one very soon. Um, but we also see some very nice koi. I see some really good kujakus. I see uh, shiro otsuri, some nice sanka. Uh, Goshiki and of course a great Kohaku over there. Uh, do you know if the uh, owner where he bought this koi? Uh, it's, uh, different, uh, different breeders. Yes, different breeders. Yeah, so they, are, uh, they had a pond before yes. and now yes. they have uh, this new pond so they still have to add yeah. more and more new koi to, yeah. The, yeah. to the koi pond. And a uh, uh, long time for, uh, for, uh, for uh, make the system run. Yeah, it takes always a long time to, uh, to, keep, to, to get it running with all the bacteria and, uh, and everything to get it healthy. Uh, but everything looks very healthy, the water is very clear and uh, you told me that the garden isn't finished yet. So it's still an unworking project. So guys, so if you see that, uh, of course Sasha is still working on that. Um, shall we open the filter house? Because that's something that people also really like to see. Okay. Cool. So also here there's a really nice lift that opens the terrace and below that there is the uh, filtration system. So here we go, the lift opened up the gate and now we see two OAS filters as we also have seen last week in the video before. Uh, we got the uh, OAS uh, ProviClear Premium here, we got two of them. Uh, I guess they are the same size as the other ones we saw last week. Yes, yes exactly. Same size, and the sun deck you can open uh, automatically. Then uh, you can uh, uh, normally make the chair of it. Yes. Then uh, open it's a really nice uh, solution uh, from the customer. Yeah, it's also very quiet because when we were busy filming at the pond, uh, we heard the uh, system cleaning. Uh, and it, the sound was so quiet because it's pretty good isolated. So uh, you did a really good job on this one. Uh, again guys, look at this, it's very clean everything. Everything worked out very good. We got the biological filter over there two times. We got the air pumps. So it's pretty same, like this, uh, the same setup as uh, we saw at the other pond. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link in the description right now. Uh, and you can watch that video after this one. I really like the style of building those so uh, great koi ponds and gardens because it's not only the pond it's also the garden that's yeah. that's very important yeah. okay you're welcome thank uh, you so nice. much thank and uh, we are going to uh, enjoy some of the koi we're going to feed them we will see you next time uh, if you're not subscribed guys to the channel please subscribe and uh, well see you the, the next one bye